three to nothing. Light night on the prep schedule. Only two volleyball contests on the docket countywide. Naturally, we have cameras at both. We start volleyball action. Fralbrook, a little crosstown rivalry with Mission Vista, the Lady Warriors. Uh, that's Vanessa Dalton with the assist and Skylar Trout with the kill to tie things at one. But it would be the Timberwolves captain, Cindy Stevens. Cindy, Sydney Stevens, excuse me, with a game high 16 kills, five blocks. Mission Vista wins this one in four. Over at San Diego Academy, the Cavaliers are opening up their season against the San Diego Jewish Academy. Third set, the Lions, Carla Vanner. Make that Vayner with the uh, using your left hand on the second attempt of the point. Then it's the Cavaliers, Iona Holly. She's a force in the middle as she leads San Diego Academy to the straight set win. Week two of the Prep Picks Report sees a slight increase in game coverage. We're upping our plans from 27 a week ago to 31 games. With Carlsbad road tripping to Mesa College as your Prep Pigskin Report Game of the Week, the Lancers and St. Augustine both coming off impressive wins Friday night. Lancers quarterback threw six first half touchdowns and a big win over Del Norte. The Saints, will they beat that team from Las Vegas? You're looking at all our featured games of the week. Including the Pigskin Idol Game of the Week, all right, we always want to mention a new sponsor, Nelson Photos Aboard, and we really are excited about that. Mont Monta Vista and University City will be our Pigskin Idol Game of the Week. And who wants free Domino's? A delicious order of their brand new bread twist is simply a Snapchat away. Every Friday night this season, our PPR and Domino's Snapchat filter will be live at football games all over the county. It's really simple. All you have to use is the filter. <laughs> Bless you, and, uh, and and your snaps, and head over to a local Domino's. Show them the, the filtered snap, and you know what? Any pizza purchase gets you a brand new order of bread twists. The offer only good though for carry out orders. Meanwhile, San Diego Section Commissioner Jerry Schneep in studio during the 5 p.m. hour. The hot topic of conversation: the rash of transfers, or so it seems. Society has changed, Paul. There's a lot more information out there. We have a lot more schools than we used to have. And there are a lot more relaxed transfer policies with school districts. And, and so I think it's there, there are going to be kids changing school no matter what we do. But I do not see this rule change having an effect on the, the, the power schools or the schools that struggle. Kids are going to go to school where they're going to go to school. People have choices. They're going to make those choices. The sport, in my opinion, has never been safer than it is today. The training that we mandate for our coaches, the, the mandatory periods of, of rest, uh, practice time limitations, uh, w when there is a concussion or a serious injury, there's, there's mandated time off. Uh, we, we have done a better job, I think, in what we've instituted in the last couple years across the country. The game has never been safer. But parents still have to make that choice for their own child. Thanks, Commissioner, for coming in. Every Monday, the University of St. Catherine College invites us to take a peek inside Shaq's pig pen. The first inductee in 2017, Oceanside's Donovan Leahy. We opened this season at a historic Oceanside High School where Coach Dave Rodriguez is once again looking forward to an outstanding season. And one of the big reasons is a 6'6", 300-pound offensive and defensive lineman named Donovan Laie. The biggest thing that he's worked on is becoming that leader and really leaving a legacy, teaching the younger guys uh, the example that is Pirate football. The coaches here just uh, make sure we carry on that tradition here. Uh, we have the best tradition in San Diego, I believe. As an offensive ball player, Donovan shows great promise. His footwork is good, and he shows great balance on pass protection. He gets downfield in a hostile manner. Defensively, he can't be blocked. Big, big physical. He uh, has really put in a lot of work in the offseason, not only physically, but the mental aspect of the game, uh, the X's and O's of the game. Is there a particular side of the ball you like playing on more than the other? Offense, just opening up the holes for the running backs. I like that. Donovan's a highly recruited athlete who happens to play basketball in the offseason. He doesn't know where he's going to go to school yet. I hope it's local. But in the meantime, Donovan, welcome to Shaq's Pig Pen for 2017. And here's a for you. Thanks, Coach. San Diego's Thomas Marcus was the week one winner of the Toyota Dealers Play of the Week. Uh, Marcus celebrating that catch by making perhaps the play of the year. It certainly could be a candidate. This was from Friday. We weren't at the game, but someone showed us the video. That is Marcus channeling his inner Odell Beckham. Uh, yeah, look at it side by side, then just look at it again. Young man, if you didn't already have a t-shirt, you'd have a second one. Right now, let's uh, turn to Allison Edmonds with the Toyota Dealers Plays of the Week. Vote, people, vote. 
St. Augustine's DeAndre Daniels is kicking things off this week as he returns this kickoff, survives the pack, and just keeps going. 85 yards into the end zone, making Daniels candidate number one for the San Diego County Toyota Dealers Play of the Week. Next, Weston Erdman of San Pasquale, the Golden Eagle who can't be grounded but sure can land a 44-yard touchdown pass. This play giving Erdman the deserving title of candidate number two for the San Diego County Toyota Dealers Play of the Week. On Play of the Week, we give you four plays to choose from. Helix's Rashad Scott gave us four on his own, including this interception for the touchdown. This play making Rashad candidate number three for the San Diego County Toyota Dealers Play of the Week. Finally, it's the black shirts of Vista, Isaac Tina Isamoa strips, Des Tua scoops and scores. This teamwork making Isaac and Des candidates number four and 4A for the San Diego County Toyota Dealers Play of the Week. The fate of these athletes is now in your hands. Vote for your favorite play on the KUSI PPR Facebook page, at KUSI PPR on Twitter, and at KUSI PPR on Instagram. We will have the result Friday night on the Prep Pigskin Report.